Hello dear users, we will continue to deal with our tutorial. In the previous parts we created six strategies for trading and uh, in that episode I will export expert advisors from these uh, strategies and I will run these experts on a real account. Let's see what we have uh, now. I use the strategy explorer tool in uh, for strategy builder professional. It lists all strategies in, in our strategy folder. And these are our strategies, Euro USD. This is the first one. Mm, I received an error, error occurred. Let's see what is the error. Uh, cannot all spread level pro indicator, try to find it in the repository. Oh yes, uh, this strategy is using a custom indicator and uh, I deleted it. So I will show you how we can load uh, custom indicators. Let's, let's go to the repository. This is the repository tab and here I have, uh, we see indicators uh, page. These are all indicators listed in our repository. I need a spread level pro. I will arrange the indicators by title. And you'll find it. Spread level pro. Okay, let's load the indicator. Spread level pro indicator is loaded. Very nice. Let's continue with the strategy. We see everything is okay now. And let's open all other strategies. Four and four. Now this is pair. What we have? Second is pair. Where is the, my first strategy for? Mm -hmm. I have Great Britain USD first and Great Britain Pound USD second. And uh, USD GPY, okay, that and that one. I can close this tool. So we have uh, six strategies for the 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 three major uh, markets. Let's check if everything is okay. What I'm checking is the market EURUSD M15 and uh, the trading amount. I'm going to trade with 0 0.1 watts for each strategy. Okay, why I'm going to trade with the six strategies? One, two, three, four, five, six. Because uh, I want to make a portfolio. If one strategy fails, fail or two or three strategy fails, the other may uh, recover these losses. And uh, for a strategy builder comes with a very useful tool called a strategy portfolio. And the strategy portfolio makes a, an aggregate uh, account it, uh, it looks like our account if we trade this all six strategies simultaneously. And uh, this is the combined, uh, this is the portfolio performance by one security chart. We see it works very well. How much is the maximum stagnation? Only 22 days. It's very good. So we are ready to export our expert advisors. I will trade uh, these uh, strategies as expert advisors. And how to do that? First, I'll create a new folder on my desktop. Folder. Experts. Okay. And I'll put the experts here temporarily. I use this small arrow here and CFS Expert Advisor. And go to desktop. Experts. And I'll export all. Mm. Why every time it goes, it goes to the, the to default folder. It's not very good. I have to see that behavior. Desktop experts. Okay. Desktop experts. And the last one, CFS, Desktop, Experts. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, I, I don't have uh, more work with uh, Forex Strategy Builder now. Mm, let's see what I have. These are my six, uh, uh, si my six experts, but uh, I'll do something uh, additional. Uh, I will trade uh, each uh, strategy with a separate uh, mm, 
magic number and I will, I will use this uh, magic numbers for tracking let's uh, I want to rename each strategy with a, a symbol a market and a magic number so in order to not make mistake this euro is the will be number 10 0101 0, 1. Um, this is a uh, tennis uh, means euro USD for me 0, 01 is the version of the strategy and uh, 0, 01 is the uh, magic number actually the 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 index of the strategy this is my uh, my way of uh, using that 10 0, 01 zero two I'll put here on uh, space okay this Great Britain pound rename this will, will be twenty zero one zero one you may choose what what you want twenty zero one zero two use the GPY rename 300101 rename 300102 okay uh, this is useful if you want to make a track of the strategies you can make an uh, excel spreadsheet and to write uh, the 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 this, this parameters and later you can compare this with the work files you see also the work files are very similar to what we see here the names of the work files so our experts are ready uh, well, I'm going to trade these experts on a separate computer uh, if you watched the first and the second parts of this video uh, you'll find that uh, I'm using a separate laptop only for trading I'm not going to trade uh, uh, my real account on the, my development machine I'm using this machine for building for strategy builder, for building strategies and for other stuff. And I want uh, to be sure that uh, the computer I'm trading on is not uh, occupied with other tasks. So in that machine I have minimum software installed. Uh, this is the MetaTrader. First I will uh, export the strategies. I'm using uh, TeamViewer and it has a file transfer option. This is the left part is my desktop experts and uh, I'll copy this experts on the desktop okay close close and here uh, if you remember from the previous episode I made an um, shortcut to the to the experts folder of the broker of the MetaTrader I see here different experts and I'm not going to use this one. I will delete these experts. Okay, and I'll put this six. So these are the experts I'm going to trade. Um, we have to be sure to not make mistake at any step of the process. Okay. And uh, this is the meta trader. First, we have to be sure we're on, on the correct account. Mm, I, on that platform, I have a, a demo and a real account. And actually, I have two real accounts. Uh, I'm I made a separate account for for this uh, tutorials for this series, and this is the account. And I'll compare the numbers: seven five nine, seven five nine. Okay, I'm sure I'm uh, logged in in the correct account. Next, mm, these are the old, uh, the old experts that were loaded in the Forex Strategy Builder. And I have to right click here and refresh. Now, for, uh, excuse me, MetaTrader. Now MetaTrader loads uh, these uh, experts and compiles the experts. It takes some time. Let's see okay um, all experts are compiled we see this the icons are yellow with yellow faces there is no gray uh, squares here that means uh, the experts are compiled without errors 
and uh, I need six charts to run these experts. I currently have uh, four charts opened and I also I have to prepare the um, the periods. So I have to be very careful. I have Euro USD H1, I'll make it F15, M15. And I have to be sure that we have enough bars loaded. I open another chart. Where is uh, Euro USD? That here. Mm, I'll arrange this. You know we can drag and drop the symbols in order to arrange in your order as you want. My second symbol is Great Britain Pound USD. I put it in the second place. After that I have USD GPY. Okay. And I'm not going to trade on USD Swiss franc now. Mm, I'll delete that chart. I'll remove it. So let's prepare. We have one Euro USD chart and I'll make another one. Right click, chart window. This is the window. I'll put here and I uh, will select the the proper period. Um, next is a Great Britain Pound. Okay, I have one chart here. M15. And I will open another one. Chart window. Fifteen minutes, and I'll put to that one here. And the last one is USD GPY H1. I'll make it M15, and we'll open another chart window. Fifteen minutes. Okay, is everything okay? USD, USD fifteen minutes. Great Britain pound USD. USD GPY M15 M15. Okay, everything's okay. Now I'm ready to attach my experts. Mm. Uh, what I have to check, I will use a. Uh, I'll move that here. Uh, I will use uh, log files to monitor the trading, and uh, I want to be sure that there is no old log files there. Open data folder. Uh, MKO4 and files. This is the location where uh, my experts uh, save log files. These are the folder is empty. Let's keep it. We see when we start the experts, they, they open log files here. And I'll start opening the experts one by one. I have to be sure that uh, okay, that uh, I'm setting the proper um, magic number for the expert. Our wife trading. Okay, why right, this is off by default? We can change it. Go to tools, options, and experts. Uh, our wife, our, our automatic trading. If this is on, every time when we start an expert, it will be with our wife trading switched on. Mm, I don't need uh, DLL for that expert, but we may need for other experts. Okay. Let's continue. And now that option is on. And for inputs, I have to change here two options. Mm, I have to change the magic number. And this magic number will be 10101. Like that. And uh, write log files. I'll make it true. Because I want my expert to write log files. Okay, the expert is started and the automatic trade is on. Mm, if I see this folder, the let's go to details. Uh, the expert is started and uh, the name of the file is uh, uh, the name of the log file is the same as uh, mm, the expert name. So it would be easy to to track the, the the performance. Okay, let's start the other one. Here I'll start the second strategy. Our wife trading inputs. What I have? Ten zero one zero two. 
and uh, write uh, log files true okay mm, this is okay let's continue great britain pound usd the first strategy okay it's okay the the number is 200101 and the log file true the second strategy twenty zero one zero two We may decide uh, another numbers uh, to set another numbers for your strategy. This is just my convention for naming. It uh, it is not important for the trading. USD GPY M15, the first strategy. This is thirty zero one zero one. And I said here true. Enter and OK. And the last strategy. OK, mm. inputs. 30, 0, 1, 0, 2. And I said here true. So what we have, our six strategies are running in our um, in our real account. Uh, we can monitor for errors. We can uh, monitor here the um, the journal, the journal tab. I don't see errors. These are simply notes. The errors are with a red uh, sign, and here this is the export, the expert's uh, output, and that's all for now. I I believe these strategies are running for several weeks or months, and we will constantly monitor the performance. And if uh, one st of this strategy or several strategies go bad, uh, start losing money, we will find another strategies to replace them, and also. Mm, I want to add uh, one strat uh, two strategies for a different market. Mm, I'm not sure I'm going to use uh, Euro Swiss franc, uh, uh, USD Swiss franc. Maybe I can use uh, Australian dollar or Canadian dollar. I will see what, what we do next. For now, the important is that uh, we made everything uh, to be sure that the, the trading, the platform is okay, the computer is okay internet connection, the power supply, uh, there is no errors with uh, uh, symbols and uh, periods. We have to be very careful. And uh, that's that's the that's all for that video. In next episode, I will show you some tricks how to monitor the, the experts. And later, we see the performance of these experts. So thank you for watching and please subscribe to our Mm. Our YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye bye.